There. That's it. That's him. What's up, y'all? What's going on? Mr. Warwick's in the building presently and I'm about to give you another video. I'm about to give you one of them lifetime deals. One of them heartstring felt, heartfelt, you know, videos where this should have been common sense to some of y'all, but a lot of y'all take advantage of the system again and you're getting caught out on it. Now, I'm going to title this story, they can't vote, but they can leave shopping hundreds of shopping carts inside of a Walmart. Now let me relate and correlate the story as it goes. Okay. People use all the excuses in the world not to vote. Which, if you look, once again, I hate to bang on the drum. I hate to toot my own horn. I called it. Others have called it. The election polls showed the people did not come out. Now, people cannot go out to vote. Or, but whenever it came to that welfare glitch, people came out in droves. Like, well, people were on Facebook complaining about that. Well, hey, my EBT card didn't work. Well, it's a glitch. Wait a minute. People were people were writing letters to the editor. People. What happened in Louisiana? Let me describe that. Where the people went to um, what was that? They went to a Walmart. They went to a Walmart in Indiana. They were grabbing the shopping carts by the dozens, and like I guess the the cart had a limited amount. And what it was is the, the people at Walmart caught it and called them and said, "Hey, look, man, shit's hitting the fan over here." And that's when they froze the cars, I guess. And then they, once they told them that, they left the carts there. Now this shows you how low you motherfuckers have come. Now I'm not blaming the people. See, here's the problem with like the welfare issue. If the minority affects the majority, and this happens on everything. Like I said, how some black people affect the rest of us. You lazy ass motherfuckers that, are, that did this are affecting other people, because now they just lump everybody together. It's like if you're on un unemployment, they lump everybody together because a few of you don't want to do nothing. Now, the minority always makes the majority look bad as the computer glitch left, you know, a lot of you lazy asses they weren't like, look, they found a ride. Look, man, they called their mother. They called their sister. They called their boyfriend's mother. They called their boyfriend's mother's boyfriend. They called their boyfriend's mother's boyfriend's mother. They, they Look, they got rides. They found a way to get a ride to Walmart. But now the Supreme Court has just struck down key provisions of the Civil Rights Act. And then when you go to vote, I don't have a way to work. I don't have a way to get there. Or they come with some bullshit. Well, I was on my way, but I had to do this, how to do that. Like I said, whenever they start limiting a lot of stuff, which they did on you guys on the slide, I'm not gonna feel sorry for you because you cannot vote. And like I said, I'm not worried about national voting. You can do more effect, more more in effect to your local voting. That's what a politician, the local politician, told me before. He said he doesn't worry about the national stage because he said they're gonna do what they do. He said the regular people have more more at stake in a local local as you can see with the school levies and raising taxes and all these other little bond issues you have more to do you have more input more impact on your local on your local voting than you go on a national stage now this, like this is this this was real sickening to me you could load up the buggies and all of a sudden you still found out he leaves the buggies in there. That has some trifling ass shit, but what do you expect from motherfuckers nowadays? You know, folks need to. It, it, this habit, this. I'm, I'm disgusted on the loss of words. When I saw that, it was just like, you fucking kidding me? They start. they figured, what? You figure, look, okay, let me use this as an example. Say you get 500, and I know it's not everybody gets 500 before a while you fucking crybase chime in. Say you get 500 a month from the government in food stamps. Say you get 500. It hasn't you been getting 500 for as long as you've been on there? Which for some of you has been fucking all 24 years, whatever your life, whatever. Say you get 500. Boom, boom, boom. All of a sudden, there's no limit. Now you know for a fact you only get 500. So what were you trying to do? You were taking money out of more money at that. At that out of my hands, more money out of my pocket, more money how I feed my kids so you can get more fucking government cheese and so you can eat the good steaks. 
Fuck, I don't even good, eat, eat good steaks nowadays with these motherfuckers here. And I stand shit on shop in the first of the fucking month. So, look, people, put your priorities together. If, if Like, I respect the people who had the glitches and didn't do it, because, like I said, those people, you know, did the right thing. They, not that they should be commended for doing it, because it's just the right thing. They didn't steal. But for all you lazy, no good nicks out there who did that, fuck you. I'm out. There. That's it. That's him.